welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the makeup style tag video and I saw Lauren May Beauty do this one and I was like, well, uh, yeah. I want to try and film more tag videos. They're so fun. They're such a great way to get to know somebody and uh, hopefully one day I can come up with my own tag video and have you guys do that. But uh, until further notice, I'm just going to do everyone else's tag videos that they came up with. I'm not sure who created this tag, but uh, thanks in advance, wonderful makeup goddess, whoever did this, or god, whichever. But if you guys are interested in hearing my answers, just keep watching. Also, if you are a YouTube creator, please go ahead and make this video and leave a link down in the comments or if you already filmed it, let me know because I would like to snoop and check out your answers. I'm going to try and remember to link some people down in the description box to make this video, but you guys, I'm so forgetful, so like... Kat from Rented Fashion, if you haven't done this. Uh, Paulina, who is a new YouTube friend. What is her last name? Shoot. I was just watching one of her videos. Everyone and their mama, if you make YouTube videos, make this video because it'll be fun. So anyway, without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first question, what kind of eye primer do you use and why? So I use pretty much exclusively one eyeshadow primer right now. It is MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre. I bought the paint pot. It's in my Project Pan like series that I'm doing like unofficially. Like I haven't shown you guys what I'm trying to pan this year, but I exclusively use that. I did buy the Milani eye primer, which is like six or seven bucks because I'm so curious. And Emily Noel year after year features that in her year end favorites. And I was at Walmart and I was like, Karen, just effing by the damn thing. So I bought it and they're both kind of a cream consistency. So I really like it. And the rest of the question said liquid eye primer or shadow stick. And my answer is a cream base. I love a cream base. Also, a lot of people ask me which eye primers I recommend. So I would definitely recommend soft ochre. I feel like I've tried all the Urban Decay ones and I'm not that impressed by them. I really want to try the NARS one, but every time the VIB sale comes around, I'm like, do I really want to spend $28 on an eyeshadow primer? And the answer every time is no. I've also mentioned to a lot of people that you can just use your concealer as eye primer. So just put on some concealer, make sure you blend it in, and then top it off with some setting powder, and that'll keep your eyelids nice and creaseless and matte throughout the day if that's what you're going for. So hopefully that answered all of your questions on eyeshadow primer. The next question is, what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? So I did try to think of some of these answers ahead of time, and honestly, I would say if I had to be like an everyday girl, I would say my go-tos are just like bronzy golden shades. I think that those complement my skin the best, and I just know that that's like a go-to look where I can always just be simple and elegant and I've also really been getting into the berry tones I'm obsessed with like the Queen of Hearts palette I love like that mm, ma like magenta color I love throwing that in the crease and then having a berry lid so that's also something that makes me feel very bold and pretty at the same time and then that question has a part B and that question is what eyeshadow color do you least like to wear and why and for least, I said smoky shades and like black. I feel like black eyeshadow with my skin tone just looks like I have a black eye. Plus, I don't have a lot of lid space. <laughs> I don't have a lot of lid real estate. So for me, when I put like a darker color in my eye, I feel like it just loses my eye lid and like it shrinks my eye space. So I really stay away from blacks and like jewel, like dark, dark, deep jewel tones. So those are the colors I really don't feel bold and pretty in. Okay, question number three. Do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner? Black or brown liner? So I actually wear both. I want to show you guys my go-to I want to show you guys these because these are honestly like my rider dies. So for my go-to eye pencil, it's the Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Extreme Black. I wear this every freaking day. This is pricey, but it's 
so worth it. I love the staying power and I think she has about five shades. I also have the brown one but honestly I gravitate towards the black constantly and this liquid liner has been my go-to for the last year or two and this is by the brand Makeup Forever. I don't try a lot of things from this particular brand but I love this. I can do a cat eye with this no problem and it is a matte eyeliner which is why I originally purchased this. I don't particularly love how you have to use the applicator and it's like a brush type applicator but you do get used to it once you practice and it has a little shaky ball in it to shake up the liner but I think this can last up to about a year for you guys. It does say to change out every six months. I think it's totally worth it so if you're looking for a good liquid liner this is my go-to for every day. Question number four. Covergirl or Maybelline mascara? Come on you know you are one way or the other. I have to say that my go-to mascaras are Maybelline. I love the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the one that comes in like the silvery blush color. I love their new one that they came out with. Uh, again, reaching into my everyday drawer. This one, the Total Temptations. Oh my gosh. Love this cute packaging again. They have been my go-to for mascara for years. I just don't love the CoverGirl ones. I originally started with CoverGirl. It's been Maybelline ever since. Okay, so the next question is, if you could have your brows permanently done or not wear any blush for the rest of your life, which would you choose? I think I would choose to have my brows permanently done because you guys, I always say if you're a makeup beginner, you have no idea how much your face will change just by doing your brows. It is insane. They frame your face. It's it's just crazy. I mean, I honestly feel bad for people that don't have good brows because you can spend hours drawing them on and essentially I kind of do too when I spend time doing people's makeup. But God, the gift of having good brows. I think if you have good brows, some mascara and just like even just a dash of lip gloss, you're good to go. Blush I don't think is like a daily essential because blush is just kind of like a fun addition. It's not going to like make you any prettier, but having sick brows is going to like take you from like a 5 to a 10 if you ask me. <laughs> so that's my answer and I'm sticking to it. Okay, number six, does your best friend or you wear more makeup? I would say I wear more makeup than all of my friends. I uh, definitely didn't always used to be that way, but it has happened. I definitely am the makeup addict of all of my friends, and it's okay. I definitely influence them to make some bad decisions as far as like buying a lot of makeup, but I still think I, I definitely have the biggest collection of makeup and I definitely wear the most makeup. I love, I love makeup. It's so fun, which is why I have a YouTube channel so I can talk to people on the internet about makeup. So hopefully that helps clarify all of that for you guys. Okay, question number seven. Who taught you how to do makeup? Well, like 90% of people on YouTube, I taught myself how to do makeup. I did have a few friends help me along the way. I should give them some credit. But uh, I don't know what happened, guys. One day I was a fashion blogger, and the next day I woke up, like, obsessed with YouTube and makeup and playing with makeup and buying makeup. And honestly, it really is an addiction. <laughs> it just hasn't, like, completely gone off the rails yet. Yeah. It's it's bad. I, I definitely have morphed into just trying everything, playing with everything, trying new trends. It just makes me happy. So, so happy. And not in a bad way. Not in like a way that gives me anxiety, that I need everything or anything like that. But it just, I'm just so curious. It's like somebody that's like a scientist that's really curious about like finding out why the earth is round or something so like nobody else cares about but uh you know you just have that passion so think of something that you're really passionate about it might not mean something to anyone else but to you that's like the only thing that you want to do day in and day out and that's how i feel about makeup so i taught myself i don't claim to be an expert by any means I definitely feel like I have so much more progress to make. I can I can do decent makeup. I'm going to I'm going to give myself that. I think I've taught myself some decent techniques and uh yeah, every once in a while I'll do other people's makeup too. So uh yeah, that's that. <laughs> okay guys, question number 8. Are you a fan of cream products, blush, bronzer, contour, etc.? Why or why not? 
This is very easy for me. I am not a fan of cream products. Oh my gosh. I just don't know why. Uh, I know it makes it like look more like airbrushed and stuff like that sometimes, but I feel like I can do that with powder too. I feel like I'd look just as flawless and airbrushed with my powder products. Maybe if I had a different skin type, I would feel differently about it, but with my face and not having a lot of texture on my skin, I can totally pull off powder and I'm not worried about it. So yeah, that's why I don't like uh, cream products. I just think they're messy. A lot of them aren't well made, so they move stuff around and I just, uh, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Question number nine, are you a project pan or what projects are you in right now? So I wouldn't consider my channel a project panning channel, but I do have a drawer. It's this one right here in my collection where I have products that I am trying to pan. So if you ever see me talking about products in my collection and you see a sticker like this on that product, it means I'm trying to pan it or like finish it up to some extent so I don't feel terrible about all the money I spent on it. So I wouldn't say that I am like this huge project panner but uh, I'm trying so yeah I feel like that's the first step is to try and uh, I have used up a lot of makeup in my lifetime it's just that with my YouTube channel growing I feel like I'm buying a lot more and I'm not using up as much so I'm trying to be more conscious of that and use up some products in my collection okay so setting spray the last question is about setting spray and it says do you believe in it and which is your holy grail I feel like I use setting spray every day do I love every setting spray I've ever bought? No, most of them are really big flops or I'm like, this didn't do anything. So like the Urban Decay All Nighter, like I swear people swear by that setting spray and I'm like, this didn't do anything. And then I've tried the Kat Von D one. I recently got the Ofra one based off of Liv Loves Her Makeup. I have a lot of different setting sprays, the Milani one, a bunch of them, but yeah, I don't feel like they're that amazing. But on the other hand, MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus is like my holy grail. They don't market it as a setting spray. I think they actually market it as like a skincare product. I, I just don't know what kind of like unicorn magic is in MAC Fix Plus, but I swear to God when I use it after I do my makeup, it just like everything just looks like skin. Like it, all my powder products just like look so blended. It's honestly amazing and I feel that the Smashbox primer water does the same thing as well. It just flawless, flawless, flawless. I wish the Smashbox one wasn't as expensive as it is so that's why I hesitate to recommend it because I do feel like it's a little bit overpriced but I do love Fix Plus so if you guys get a chance to try out Fix Plus I recommend it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup style tag video that I just did. So there's 10 questions. I'll leave the questions down in the description box with a few influencers that I would like to see do this tag video. If I forget anyone though, please don't feel bad. Just do the video like I did. Nobody tagged me, like hello. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and leave me a comment down below with your answers. I would love to hear from you. Even if you aren't a makeup influencer, I know that I have some ride or die subscribers that uh, like to answer some of my tag videos as well. So very, very curious to hear your answers. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.